Hey folks, this is Noble Rambler and welcome back to RimWorld where it is 30 degrees Celsius on my graphics card. <laughs> I've got the EVGA hardware monitor up and running over my other screen and we're going to find out if it's the uh, the graphics card that's causing my, my little game crashes here. I don't think it is, so we're running at 30 degrees every time. I spent several minutes zooming the map in and out and moving all over and you're probably getting nauseous and wishing I'd stop that. Trying to give the graphics card a workout and there's just not enough in this game to make it flinch it goes up one degree to 31 and the fans immediately cool it right back down to 30 again so i don't think that's it but i did want to start here to remind myself we need to do some hunting this episode we didn't get it in last time last time we had fires and we had uh power needs. I got that one in. Um, zoom back over there. I put uh, conduit or uh, sandbags over the top of the conduit to protect it so that uh, enemies don't come in and light that on fire. So you can believe that would be a great target for them. We got another one over here to think about too. I'm kind of hesitant to wipe out the middle of our good rich growing soil. What I might do instead is move the conduit straight out from here and right into that door. Move the heater over here to the center between both halves when we take this down. This was, you know, 24 degrees if I remember right last time. Now we're indoors in 59. This is trying to get us up to 70. So it's it's almost there. So it's 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 warming it up again even though it is 22 degrees outside. We're still, you know, 60 degrees inside. That's that's a pretty good spread there. Um, before we get going, we had cold. Well, I guess I can get it going. Um, Eric was popping his pistol at a turtle when we ended last time and he eventually got it. Natalia's going to butcher that right now. They've all gone to bed. And what did I do? Basically just got the conduit finished over here. Did get handy to pop in one more door so we now have auto doors going out of this area. So I'm hoping the game's going to recalculate most of their pathways and they're going to head out there. But it seems like, well, this is a pathway they may take to get into here so if the conduit went right there instead we could take it out of the garden and not wipe out a bunch of that, that rich soil. I don't know. We're charging here now. How are we doing in the middle of the night, though? Um, well, we should be doing fine. Let's think here. That battery is at 158. And it was 157 a second ago. It was 159. It's not increasing as fast as I thought it would. Let's put it that way. This thing is putting out, what is it, 3,600 watts. So that's a lot of power. I would think we'd be dumping into these batteries a lot faster than that. 164, 165. I don't know. We'll see. I think, though, we're, we're ahead of the curve. These two are just about uh, 80. So we're going downhill right now because we don't have the. Oh, we don't have the solar or wind. Okay. Don't have a lot of power drain right now, but there's basically nothing coming in. Except for the wood. We do have the wood coming in. This has been reloaded and turned back on. Um, we had problems with temperature last time and got to realizing that right toward the end of the episode. We are back to, there it is, 73, 72. As I go in and out of a door, you get a burst of cold. All the way down to 65, then back up to 70 again. So we've warmed up in here with the, the, the existing amount of heaters. Um, where is it? We're 52 there. Why 52 there? Because we had taken this out for the winter last time so that the heat over on this side, including that one, which is turned off. Ah, let's turn you back on. Any more of those? You're on already. So we only have three heaters in the whole area. And they maintained last time just fine, except for a cold snap. So this door, I think, let's go ahead and take it out. Opening it up, we found out it didn't work. So it didn't let the, the air communicating between the two rooms was, was happening very slow. The temperature change in between was hardly happening. So that's why we just took it out completely last time. I'm going to go ahead and do that too. Um, boy, I see we're, we're kind of getting up. <laughs> um, or is it just... Oh, Rabbit and Shondigo. Um Neither of you have a good construction skill, right? Five? Well, Shantigo's better. Construction four. Shantigo, why don't you do me a favor and tear this door apart? You do that one first. Then how's your workstation going? You need some vegetables over here. So after that, once you haul in 75 corn, and you are what? Tortoise meat. Now, so much for that. Yeah, we don't have a major stockpile of that, but we don't have a major stockpile of meat at all. And that's what I'm worried about. Rabbit, where'd you go? 
you're over here. Oh, I went ahead and and set the the perimeters out here for for harvest just because the grow light doesn't reach it. So we'll go ahead and, and make use of these before they just rot and die on their own. Must be six in the morning. Lights came on. But Rabbit, when you're done with that, I want you to go haul meat from up there. Shantigo, you may as well help out on that too. I guess let you just finish that right there and stop. And well I'll tell you what, let's go through the last of this of the tortoise meat. That way while we're gone, one of the dogs just may uh, uh, restock you. Although we're going to get a meal dropped in there too, aren't we? Yeah. Anyway, you're going to grab just one, aren't you? Uh-huh. That's why I like to stock these stockpiles. Maybe in the next one we'll get two spaces of stockpile for each type. And get a little more reserve in there. But once you're done with this, let's have you put the meals away. Right there. Shantico there. And haul those away. And boom, boom. Good. And then I want you up here to bring in a load of meat. And we're just going to get everybody to make this trip. Because we've got 207. So Shantigo, so 75, 150, that's three trips only. It is three trips. Okay. So you uh, hauling five meals, so we'll do that right afterward. And Handy would be a good runner, but she is still asleep. I worked them pretty hard, so I'm going to let them actually have a full rest this time. Klaus, you are rested. You're basically done. Your food will survive a little bit longer. Pop up here and grab another load of those. And who else can make the trip that's willing to haul? So, not Michael and Natalia. Um, Tomislav, you are building a marble wall somewhere. Where are you at? Tell I me mean, you're not all the way down to the bottom of the base. Yeah. Mm -hmm. I need to get you off of construction. That was just to get us through the little power emergency back there. But you don't need to stay there. So we'll do that. And but who else can make that trip? Mr. P, where are you at right now? You're right there. You're digging a compacted s machinery, which means you're done over here. Good. You were working on that one, and you went to get a meal. How about you make the trip for me? You're already a third of the way there, so you can grab the other load right over here. Um. Yep, that'll do it. Okay. So that means Tomislav's going to dive into uh, research when he's done with that. For a little while, then I want to gather the forces to head out and let's go do some hunting. Bring in a big load of meat for the next uh, couple of months worth of meals to get processed. And we'll get as many people involved as possible because because that's fun. <laughs> yeah, group shooting. Uh huh. <laughs> it makes it interesting. Anyway, what else triggers my thoughts here? Anything else that I may have worked on through the night? Didn't do much. Well, I'm curious if we're going to, if I'm going to lose the game here in a moment. It seems to happen about 10 minutes into the episode. And I'm running at 32 degrees Celsius. Okay, summertime, this little room gets hot and that thing runs at about 50 to 60. I've seen it as much as 70. I don't know how to set it for Fahrenheit, so I, so I just have to memorize the Celsius numbers. Otherwise, we're starting to get into here. Yeah. So once the hunting's done, maybe we can get into this block. Get this done. Assuming there isn't a raid that's going to drop in on us. Yeah. So we're cleaning these up. Michael is making kibble. Oh, that's right. David had sent me a note as a reminder to... If we have all of this hay available, let's go ahead and reset it so that it is grabbing hay only. So we can turn off the vegetables and just run hay and meat on that one and then this guy over here uh, kibble details turn off the vegetables and just run hay okay so that way, that way they'll be grabbing out of here the trip will be a lot faster and we'll start to clear a little bit of space out of here as well so that's good so that's that there's no animals left to butcher animals are bringing things in we have a lot of or we had a lot of kibble stored in here yeah so I was trying to figure out why I was never getting anything into these spaces right here and light in them. I didn't think that was a problem because over here in our kitchen, we, you know, they'll dump things right on top of this light. In fact, there's another light over here. I put in two. Where is that? If I do this, there it is. There's a light under there. Ah, uh -huh. vitals monitors are done. Good. Um, I lost it right there. There's a light under there. So there's no problem putting something on it. And yet I've, this whole time they have never dropped anything 
into this space or this space until I finally moved this light out of it, and now they're willing to do it. More inconsistencies. I don't know what to do anymore. Every time I think I figured the game out, it changes the rules on me. Anyway, everybody's up. The meat uh, fridge. Muffalo. Oh, here comes a load right there. Klaus brought some in, Miss Peace, and Chantigo. They got it all. We empty up here? Almost. 30. Hmm. My math was off somewhere. Okay. Um. Yeah. We'll leave the 30. And let's go get let's go get some hunting done before we get a raid popping in on us. So, let's pause it and think about it. Where are we going, first of all? Thought about this herd over here. If we can take them out one at a time, I see this one is split off from the rest. You know, if we can get two or three to roam up and take them, so we don't trigger all of them, which will each of them pick a new person and thump us all down before we manage to get into a doorway, which isn't auto door, so it's really slow. In fact, I might, hmm, if we do this, I may pop these guys open. So they'll automatically close when the last person gets through manually. So there's the possibility of there, plus all the wild boars out in this area. Just, you know, pick one at a time and work our way through. Um, there were, you know, there's a wild boar that's not ours right there. And there was a ostrich or an emu or something right in this area a day ago. You know, one in between episodes, he's worked his way up to there. So they they run quickly. They're they're at six. Wow. So we've got to be a pretty good shot to pull that off. Another one over there. Otherwise, we do have a herd over here. And we may be better off doing it from here because we're a little closer to the doorways. Though we have a big you know, a pile of people trying to get our way through this one space here. Huh. I don't know, that just seems a little bit better, at least for assault rifles. Maybe just take out the ones with assault rifles and, and, um, well, the hunting rifles, whatever they're called. You in here? No, it must be up there. And, you know, longer range, even the snipers. And shoot from right down here into that pack, that herd. And if they do revolt on us we can get through and then they will track us through the gauntlet to finish it and then I can bring everybody else with pistols to shoot through the gauntlet okay that sounds reasonable and then once that herd's done we'll decide if we're going north or if we're going out to the uh, the southwest and kind of play the same tactic from this door here from you know maybe from right here shooting in and then die back into the doors if we need to but they'll outrun all of us but handy if I'm going to send out a lone hunter, I'm going to send out Handy. But Handy's skills are kind of needed down here right now. I'd kind of like to not just lose her for the next five or six game days to bring in a bunch of a uh, bunch of, of deer. Anyway, so let's get... Well, what have we got? Who have we got with, with weapons? Rabbit needs to get an assault rifle on him. So does Tomasov. He's a good shot. Um, Klaus is, has got one. So do we have more assault rifles around? There's three. Do we just have the three? I think we do. So Tomasov, why don't you come up and grab the bolt action? I'm thinking you're up in here. You're not. Somebody got it on him? Let's see. I want to say it was like Miss P or someone. Um, no. Bold action. It's not there. I know we own one. Okay, let's look down here again. You're not in there. And although loose weapons did land in here. Okay. And not there, not there. There you are. Didn't see you before. Bold action is a little bit faster than the sniper. Not as powerful and not as much range. But it's a little bit quicker on the draw for, for hunting. So I would say, Tomislav, that's yours. Come on up and trade that one. And <clears throat> let's do this a little differently though let's look at meals we're gonna be out there for a while so let's get everybody fooded up mealed up and but I guess we're out of lavish that's right in the doorway go ahead and grab that one. Oh, oh you're right there uh, handy you as well are relaxing socially um, but you're you're fine come on up and grab this and rabbit Let's just top you off with a... Whoa, we are out of of uh, simple meals. 
because that's really low on the totem pole for making them. Okay, we'll go ahead and grab that one. You don't need the bonus. Oh, that was rabbit. You really could use the bonus. Let's do this instead. Grab a fine meal. Okay. Um, Handy could have used that, but she needs a little bit more. Okay. Klaus, you also, right here, you're hauling wood to build a dining chair. That's right. I set you before the game, the episode started, to maybe get back to rebuilding the wedding chapel just in case it's needed soon. But let's get some hunting done instead. Grab a meal. And let's get you ready to go. Sangria is a three or a f f is she a five now on her hunting? She's a six on shooting. Tomislav is a ten. Handy is a ten. Rabbit's a thirteen. Shantigo's an eight. Klaus, you're a fourteen. So a six, five, five. Michael's a ten, so he's going to head out. Needs food? Yes. And is not sleeping anymore, but go ahead and grab a meal. And Miss P, you were like a three, you're a two, and Alicia's a five. So we'll grab all the tens and above for this first round. So Tomislav, is, after this, is going to be heading for that rifle. Because there are no more assault rifles in here that I'm shocked that I didn't know existed. Right, okay, so after that you're going to do that. Handy, you have got an assault. Rabbit has a pistol, he's going to grab a sniper. Right there. Um, Shantigo was an 8 and has a pistol. So Klaus, you've got an assault. And then Michael was the other one. And you've got an assault already. Okay. So once you guys have done all of that, we'll round you up for the first round of hunting. We'll see if we can generate some excitement and run away. And we'll get everybody out there to finish off the herd. Right now, we're all fighting over, uh, over dining tables. Ah, Tomislav jumped out, made a space for Rabbit. He's going to get in there and sit down all by himself. <laughs> okay, so with that, Tomislav is grabbing that one, and we'll meet him up here. Now we're going this way. Okay, so how do I get him over here without drafting him? I don't think I can. So let's draft you, have you grab this weapon, and then have you go here. Handy, go next to him. And Rabbit, same thing. Okay, so you draft, grab. There was a superior one. Grab the superior one right there. Then, where am I? You pop in over there. And Klaus, you've already got it. You're still trying to finish that other order. Okay, cancel that, draft, and pop in over here. And Michael, you're all the way down at the bottom, so you're going to get here last. Sorry. You're always the last one here because you're always down there in the pit. All right, we'll get you five over here, and then we'll play with some deer and a turkey. What else is over here? Got a turtle. We'll save the turtle. We'll send folks out with pistols against the turtles. And we got a rat. We can do that with them, too. Okay, more rat skin cowboy hats. Woohoo! All right, Thomas will probably be first. Nope. Andy, Klaus, and Michael. The breakfast crowd. They were next. Thomas Love's coming out of here. Michael. What? It didn't make it down there. Ah, okay, he wasn't down there. So who am I missing? Rabbit? Yeah. Rabbit's right there, coming in with a sniper. Okay. So we will um, lock these doors open. For starters and then when they flee the last one in I need to undo all that so it closes behind them but with Tomasov heading in it should trigger all these to stay open for us and no more of this uh, you know 45% of normal speed doors there we go so everybody well the shortest range will be I don't know is it the bold action or is it the assault? Uh, this one. Bold action is range of 37. The assault was, what, 35? Got to think about that. 31. Okay. So, 31. The assault rifle is our shortest range here. All right. 
So you guys can all reach this one? No, you can't. I've learned to leave it on pause when I do that, because I know three people are going to make a run. Do that, and now if I did the f the order colonists to attack designated target and do that, then only two of them can shoot. Ah, okay. Clear that one. Everybody go over here. And unfortunately, we're going to be shooting through trees, and there's just no way around that. If we do that and fire at just an X and five lines, nobody's going to run up there. All right, let's see what happens sitting right next to this boom rat. What can go wrong there? All right, everybody's fleeing, and he's down. Good. Now, all of you guys, we didn't trigger anybody yet. Head over to here. And boy, they're heading north. They're really heading north. Darn. We're heading further and further away from, uh, from safety. Okay, let's go to here. Okay, that's probably close enough to take out this one. Yeah. <laughs> you killed the wrong guy, wrong one. <laughs> um okay, well, that worked. Sniper, that was that was rabbit, right? Well, he got him. Wrong one, but he got him. <laughs> Okay, well, we're going to take them all eventually, so we won't necessarily go after the wounded one right now. Let's just go after the closest. Okay, that last sniper round. It works. Rabbit is a dead eye, that's for sure. Head into there. Okay, they're kind of roaming back toward us because they know they're, they're supposed to be over here right now. Um, you. You. Got him. Same thing. <laughs> that one. Boom! <laughs> yeah, a sniper every time. But everybody else kind of uh, softened them up for rabbit. Yeah, that, that's that's what it is. That one's downed. Okay. Um, who's moving? You guys are all running away. Let's get a little bit closer. Okay, who now? Well, tell you what, while we're waiting for them to calm down, go ahead and put this one out of his misery. Okay, and any animals below us that I've missed? The turtle and the boom rat. Okay, let's take out the pig since he's right here. Well, boar revenge. Good, he's coming back to us. He's like the Terminator. <laughs> he won't stop. <laughs> okay, a little bit further north now. Yeah, it's getting a little precarious. Let's go up into here, we'll turn you off, and try this again. While Boar is downed, uh, go ahead and take him out. Now they can't hit the side of a barn. Okay, that's enough of that. Try for that one. Okay, that one's down. Get a little further up. And this one's coming into into range. Is that everybody? It is. Okay, now Tomislav, this time. Yeah, no running out in front of him, please. Thank you. Um, although, you guys are a little precarious there. Let's put you there. All right. Can you guys hit him now? Or is this rock really that much of an obstacle? It is. I give up. Okay. Who's left moving around up here? Just, there was a turkey down here, or is, did he move all the way to there? I think he moved. So head up into here. And let's take out this turkey. Okay. Let's move down into here. Of course, we got to worry about those wild turkey revenges. You know, those are scary birds there. Okay, you're down. Oh, we're going to be we're gonna have a lot of butchering. Okay, we're moving into here. Do we go after the ostriches or not? A little concerned about that 6.0 running speed. Though with this many bullets, there's a good chance we're going to injure a leg or something and take out the ability for it to catch us. 
Come on, guy. I know he's lowered to the ground now. Wow. You can't do it, can you? <laughs> yeah. Okay, you're too close to a boom rat. <clears throat> you're 6.0. Nothing in here. So I'll tell you what. Um, Michael, you... Hmm, how do I do this? Everybody... There is no stop shooting, so stand down. Timers are going to run out. Okay. Um, Michael, how about you undraft and hunt this one? Uh, something's not right there. There's Michael. Over here and hunt this one. Um, Mr. Pig, where are you at? You're here. Are you still down? You are. Uh, Klaus, why don't you undraft and hunt this guy okay your other the other three what are you gonna do and is anybody else downed him and him I don't see any of their exclamation marks coming out now so let's go ahead and unforbid all that are there we go yeah, I think I got us high enough. So the dogs, do they have access up in here? I don't think they do. I think it's just the pigs. Um, area, and let's allow wild boars. You guys get up into here, and even up into here. I got a question for you guys. I'm assuming that if I give them permission to go here, that they're going to pick up and haul back down. Does the game not even give them command to pick up and haul back down to the base if they aren't in a home zone? Does it? Do they have to have a home zone in order to even qualify for hauling, even though they're allowed into this area? So let me know what you think about that. Do I need to go through and put home zone everywhere that I have put, um, that I want the wild boars to come up and you know collect things like that? That didn't work, but you know to go in and do something like this so which means there's the potential for all kinds of of dirt cleaning to be done you know we're going to clean the land of the entire map just to let the pigs go up and haul down the deer so give me your thoughts on that which you know does the pig zone qualify if there's no home zone there <laughs> and a wild boar is pregnant okay as we eliminate this one Okay, Klaus has got that. Klaus, you're now drafted. Head back over here. Um, I guess that was Klaus's meal. Needs? Who dropped a meal? Uh, Rabbit. Can I get you to consume fine meal? Good. You're fine. I guess Rabbit never got a meal. Interesting. Michael's fine. Klaus is fine. Okay. So, uh, Klaus, you're heading... Klaus, you are heading back to here. And Michael is done drop and head back to here as well okay time you guys get there rabbit will have wolf down his food and we'll move across the map and do some more all right so wow we're already at five in the evening okay where to next let's stay on our side of the mountains so you guys head for here while we think about this now the emus he was racing to consume tall grass and, and it is important there you are now you guys run at 5.1 a little bit less scary still overwhelming for us when we're mostly a 4.5 but Kathra is going to go grab some animals okay well we'll all go up there and grab them soon what are you guys doing you're going for the wood okay and is the wood in our home zone it would be, yeah. I've, I've set it for in here. In case we get a f lightning strike in there, I definitely want that taken care of. Okay. So you guys, let's go over after an emu. Let's see what happens. Let's get to about here. We should be able to reach it from there. And we have got cover... Oh, we've got doors unlocked. Yeah. Let's take care of that one right now. And we'll have to send somebody through that door eventually. Yeah. We want to bet we're going to get a raid over there right now. <laughs> oh, boy. Um, okay. Can you guys all hit this one? You can. Let's see what happens here. There are no other emu around. 
so that if it revenges, we're not going to get a cluster of them coming at us. I don't know, what's a group of emu? A cluck? A, uh, well, who knows? Somebody knows. Google knows. And we're out of range. Okay. You guys all head a little bit closer to there. And you're safe. You're safe. Go for it. And he's down. Okay. Unforbid, you guys are now heading here. And head there. I like the, the clustering a little better. Klaus, come on down to the side. Uh, there. <clears throat> All right. I like that shape better. You guys take this one out. Okay, that one's down. Uh, one there. That one's ours. But these that aren't moving around much aren't. So let's go, go on over to here. And let's see if you guys can hit this one. Where's Wild Boar traveling? He's going over the top. Okay, we'll sit here and wait a minute. <clears throat> All right. That one's done. Shoot that one. Nope, that didn't work. So break that order. Let's go to here. You, unforbid, you guys hit that one. Okay, that one's done. You are wild boar, wild boar. Let's catch you two down into, hmm, down into here. Let's play it safe and have our escape route ready. And let's set you for open and you for open. So the first one that gets through, the other ones will get a free path. Right there. Let's go a little bit deeper and fire out. Okay, that one's done. You guys, can you fire at? You can reach it. Good. Oh, well, he's behind a lot of trees. And you're down. All right, like fish in a barrel. You guys have come out of your hole. Oh, good. I like that better. Come on over to here. Now, yeah, yeah, something like that. That's good. And then take this one out. You are not ours. You are not ours. Okay. Fire out, though he's kind of close. Okay, you're fine. Um, into here. 20 hundred hours. You have to stop this after a while. You're moving too quick, so you're one of ours. And you're probably going to pick up one of these bodies. wonder what he's thinking. <laughs> Take that one out. Okay, unforbid you. Are you... No, you're just heading home. And you're going to open the doors for us. Thank you. All right, that group's there. And I think we're left with deer. And a turkey. All right, so how to, where, and all the good questions. Let's go to there. Let's verify he opens the door for it. No, he got steel and he didn't go home that way. All right, so we still have a bit of a roadblock ahead of us. Can you guys hit here? You can. Okay, you're down. We're not going to unforbid that one, though. You're running to here. Let's go a little lower. <clears throat> right behind a tree. All right, right there. Okay, you're down. Um, no escape out of here. One of these days we'll have to build a pathway into here and get some, some doors in there. But let's go a little bit further before it gets too dark and these guys all get ready to break. Right there. First of all, can he hit this one? Okay, that's done. We'll unforbid these later. From here, can you guys hit this one? And this is getting a little iffy. Let's save that. Let's go over here. If they're going to revolt, I don't want it to be eight of them next to each other. Let's go for the three. Okay, let's get deeper in. And handy move to here. Yeah, that cluster's better. You guys go after that one. Okay, you're done. Deeper in. Winter is tomorrow. 
animals tend to disappear. I'm going to break risk. Rabbit. When it gets too cold out. Let's go a little bit further with Rabbit. Then we'll send him loose with one. Right there. Okay. So we had an injured one. We had one downed over here somewhere. Right. Where was it? No. We went after that one already as a group. Okay, so there's only one injured left. So let's get Rabbit. How are you? You're right on the verge. Need a rest. Okay. How about you undraft and dead. It was down and it died. Okay. Then you're free. You do that. These guys, let's look through this real quick. Needs. So rabbit, you don't really need a meal. So yeah, just go and rest and you should be fine. Uh, we could use some food for Michael and Tomislav, who really needs a rest too, but he's got a a, a huge mood boost here for being married. Um, who's that? Klaus? Gonna need a meal before he goes in, but he's got a... a uh, he, he's in better shape than most. His, his lines are further down the bar, I'll put it that way. And Handy's fine too. So you four can go a little bit longer. Let's go to here. Um, Rabbit. Though, I would appreciate if you were to haul one of these in. Uh, right there. Let's unforbid them. And Rabbit bring in this one. Okay. You four. We're only going to do this once for, for a few episodes, so let's get as much out of this as we can. You are ours, right? Yep, you're Wild Boar number five. So from here, I'm hoping that we can shoot into this group right here. Let's let these guys get a little bit further I'm hoping that Rabbit is going to choose this path. He did. He'll get the door open for us. Okay, he's clear. Take that one out. Okay, take this one out. Good. No longer have the big boom of the sniper rifle. Alright, take this one out. And there's... There's the cold snap! Caused by shooting the deer. Cold snap. Okay, well, keep that one in mind. I was, thought that was the Buck Revenge or something. I think that was a, a Doe Revenge or something that just instantly went away because we finished the job. Interesting. Well, we're almost done. A little bit closer. You guys are running. Get a little closer. While you're waiting, take out the turkey. Okay, take out a little closer. We have three deer left over here. And I'd say we've had ourselves a successful hunt. Okay, a little closer. Right there, you are not one of ours, so let's do that one. A little closer, two more over here, and two pigs. And we should have enough meat to get through most of winter, I would say. Well, we're heading into... Yeah, winter starts tomorrow. Okay, so we've got to get the meat to get through the winter. For a minute there, I thought maybe I got that wrong. We're just... Uh... That... that Anyway. Who? What? Rabbit is picking out on food. The final straw was feeling bad. So I guess making him haul in that deer was, was too much. Yep. Okay. My bad. Up and over here. At least it's only a food binge. We'll read that message in a minute. Okay. Klaus, how are you doing? Needs? You're there. You gotta go. Okay. Do you have a meal on you? You do. Okay. Then let's have you eat that meal. And Handy? Needs? You're still fine-ish. Um, Tomislav? Is over there. Handy is actually up here. So Klaus and Michael is over here. And he... Oh, I didn't realize he... No, he's still right there. Let's have you also, Gear, eat a fine meal. In fact, let's have all three of them. All four of them. Okay. Handy, eat a lavish meal. Uh-huh. And Tomislav, 
All right, everybody, take a quick break. Give you a little bonus here. Nom 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 nom. Okay, that I think Michael was in the worst shape. What did that do for him? I sent him to there. It's not really showing. I'm gonna send you home. You're done for now, Klaus. You're in better shape now, and Thomas Love and Handy can handle this for a little bit longer. All right, you three, let's get the last couple animals, and then you're done too. Cold snap, we are at 18 degrees, so everything's going to be frozen at least. But let's get you guys over here. And remind me, I've got to send someone to close those other doors. But let's take out the last couple of pigs over here. And you're behind a tree. Come on down over here. Rabbit is no longer picking out on food. That was a quick little food binge. Um, yeah, we've read that. And that's not what I meant to do. And then we've got the cold snap to read. But let's finish down. Miss a piece over here. I didn't think about that. She may have been up here in danger. Um, up here at night with Mr. Wolf. Though Mr. Wolf will have eaten during the day. Needs. He's over there. He'll be eating first thing in the morning, though. Most likely he'll be eating an ibex, which will be, uh, you know, ramming him and trying to kill him at the same time. No injury, so there's no history. Combat? No history of who, you know, whether his last meal tried to do him in. Um, where's our folks? Right there. You guys are heading in a position to do that. One more. There we go. And there. And that should be the end of the hunting for this crazy hunting excursion. Plant potato died. Okay, because of the cold. Head, well, let's actually break and then just sit for a minute. Let all your timers run out. Then head over here. And hay grass is dying. Okay, we'll check all that out in a minute too. Where are you going? Right up in here. Right up in here. That should finish us off. Okay, so any last wounded animals right there? You need to be hunted. Klaus, well, handy. Break and hunt. And Tomislav, if there's another one. You guys have the best bars. Um, Klaus, why don't you haul in this one? And Tomislav, there. This one looks like it's downed. Yep, so hunt. Tomislav, that one. Okay, let's stare at this a little while. Are there any other animals that are wounded? Uh, Handy didn't get the order. Okay, let's try that again. Hunt. And Klaus is going to haul, unless I find a third animal that's wounded. So far it's just the pig and the, this one over here. You're fine. Okay, I think we're good here. Alright, so what area are we talking about over here? So all of the last of the little things over here. All the last of the hay grass out there. Yeah, okay. So they're bringing those in. Let's go and just take care of last minute things. Let's grab all of the pigs. Make sure nothing is forbidden. Grab all of the deer. Hit unfor er, undo the forbid on those. And that's all we did. No, we did turkeys. Right there. And do that one. And over here, did we miss anything? Let's get most of this map in place. So, deers. Everything's green. Um, can I find something that's not a deer? Not without zooming in. Turkey. Zoom back out. There's just one, and it's fine. And a pig over here. And we took out the one emu as well. I don't see any pigs over here. Maybe they have come out and hauled some of these in. There's one. Okay. Let's go out over like that. All right. I'll bore. Corpse, 99%. Okay, nothing's red. And that one emu was in this area? No, it was over in this area. Right? Because we were using this to fall back to. 
I'm thinking that's already been hauled in. That should be obvious. Okay, so all the animals are in. Everybody's coming back. Um, I need someone to walk through these doors unless it's been done. It is not. So have you been reset? Yeah, you're all red now. So I need someone to make this trip. Who's up? Michael, Natalia. Yeah, you are butchering. And we actually have something to butcher now. Corn plant has died. You are now butchering way out over there. How about you head over here? Draft and walk to that space. Then you'll get the butcher command, hopefully, and you'll pick up something that's right over here anyway. Otherwise, next, I guess we need to... Okay, we got that out. We need to get a double the other door in here to get our airlock going again. Otherwise, temperatures were 56 in here. The prison is 67. That's fairly comfortable. Bedrooms are 55. Cold, but not as bad as it could be. 53... Yeah, so Natalia, did you get there? You're getting there. We need to set up probably some uh, campfires. I don't want to spend... Our heaters? Can we move them? We can reinstall them. Okay, maybe we will go that route then. And then put them in the in the, the new base when we're done. I want to build anything else that I don't have to. Because we are already going to be hurting on... Uh, let's see, right there. And you are butchering clear down there. Okay. Um... Come right over here, then. I wonder if I can get you to butcher from this point. Or do you have to go and clear a table? Or some other thing like that? No, not really. You just got to get an animal. So, if you butcher and you're sitting next to a, something to butcher, will you butcher this one? That's my hope. So, right here, butcher, you won't do it. Can I consume? I, what if I gave you a new command to butcher? From scratch. So... Butcher. Didn't work. Clear. Didn't work. I can't get you to haul in the buck that's right next to you. <sighs> How are the toques doing? Do you have you do that instead then? Over here. Bills. We're fine. Let's make a toque anyway. Let's take that up to... Seven of three. Let's take it up to eight and have you make a toque, and we'll do that for right now. There we go. Natalia, since you can't haul one in anyway, let's prepare for this this uh, cold snap that's that's coming in on us. Okay. So, can build. Mississippi, Natalia, Klaus is on his way to bed. Everybody got a meal. So, really, nobody's up to, be, to do any building. All right. So, tomorrow we'll have to get that one done. Where am I? I'm at the end of an episode. I am. So I guess this was the, I don't know, the Great Hunt, or It's Cold. I don't know what I'll title this one. Um, structure, furniture, that's what I'm doing. Ever since the hospital beds got researched and threw everything off by one, I'm all over the place trying to find things. And, and, and even then, you know, campfires aren't even in this category. Temperature, that's what I want. So I would need to pop some some campfires into various, you know, probably common hallway type areas like right there. And, um, uh, yeah, that may as well work, especially right there next to the, uh, to the wood pile. That makes sense. And then let's get a little bit more like, I wish there was just one space bigger. Right there. That'll help heat this area here. Three of them ought to do it. Sangri, how you doing? Uh, this never got turned off, and we are 53 in here, so we're not maintaining. Okay, so let's go ahead and put a campfire into this room as well. And I've got to shut this episode down. So I'll probably, uh, after this one, go ahead and micromanage getting all those lit and try to drag all the the carcasses down and get them into the freezer which means possibly making a little bit of space or trying to coax a little more of the hay grass out of here so that we've got room to bring everything in yeah um, there's not a lot of predators around or carnivores so there shouldn't be much up there munching on our uh, our kills these all did I do that backwards I guess I did let's zoom out a little further make sure I got them all yeah, let's try that one again. Now they're unforbidden. I think I forbidden everything. That pig's forbidden. What did I do there? Yeah, I'll go and undo all those little mistakes. 
and get ready for the next episode. So, it's been Noble Rhymer. Thanks, guys, for watching, and I'll catch you next time. Bye-bye.